All right. Um, my wife wanted to get a telescope, and even though we haven't really used a telescope before, we use a a 25 by 100 binoculars by Celestron. This is the first telescope we got. It's a it's a um, Celestron uh, CPC Edge HD with the big wedge mount on there. It's a uh, um, 1100, and uh, you know it's hefty, hefty fella, but uh, it wasn't too bad um, sticking on there. But um, yeah, we just put it together real quick. I didn't put the finder scope on. I uh, got the finder scope pieces here. They're like uh, I took that slide off of there. You could just loosen it so you could take the slide off. Looks like it has two hole bracket. I asked my better half. Um, oh, and I have the Orion uh, dielectric uh, one and a quarter, and then I put their adapter on here so I can use the Orion one and a quarter since we're, she wants to do some planetary stuff. So, you know, and focus on that. So we're just going to eyeball this stuff. And yes, we're going to use it through the window. <laughs> she doesn't like to go out, doesn't like to go anywhere, but she wants to see things through the window when we turn everything off. Um, let's see here. Oh, I got that uh, torque thing on there. Let's loosen that torque a little bit, just a smidge, so I can bend that down here. So, uh, or, or no, it's not Orion, because <laughs> I, I have this Orion one uh, from the past, <laughs> three years ago. Um, I was looking over here. This is brand new, so I was looking at the screws here. None, none of them been tampered with, except I, I do notice, like, some markings on these. But they, uh, someone said they recommend sticking the mount on this side. But of course, it's um, in Celestron's uh, um, instructions. They say whatever you feel comfortable with. So you can clearly see that the screws do align to these things right here. So you can stick it here. I guess you can stick it here as well. No, maybe not. Excuse me. Don't listen to me. Yeah, these are the screws here, or on this side. I asked my wife, she said she's going to look with her right eye a lot. So that means standing on this side, looking with the right eye. So I guess the, a good idea to have the fighter scope on this side, instead of her lean over to see this. So I'm going to stick this on the left side, right here. And then, you know, then you slide this bracket on here, and tighten it with these screws along this uh, dovetail looking design. Yeah, see, little bracket piece right here. And then this is the uh, part number, finder, nine by 50 finder. There's my part number. Yeah, so we can look and make sure. What I noticed uh, when I did get this in the mail, uh, the lid was loose. And, and you know, the thing was pointed down and the lid was, but it was all wrapped up in plastic and it was jiggling around there. So I was a little a little saddened to see like it, it got a little, little scratched up from just the lid probably bouncing around on, onto somewhere over here in this area. I'm not sure where. Oh, there's like a little plastic protective thing on there but uh yeah but you know you just open this up and then you got the the length in here see 11 inch celestron 2800 f10 star bright coating optical edge see that looks like there is some some little dust particles there yeah, you can use a, an air can and blow blow some of that off. You can actually see it on the camera, I think. 
some dust particle from packaging. So, you know, I just go over here and lock this a little, a little tight, finger tight. See, this thing doesn't move now. I just used a finger and this thing's pretty, pretty stiff and solid. But of course, I think they tell you to tighten those, uh, those, uh, what do they call these things? See, when you just loosen it so it's free to spin around, but tighten those big old wing nuts and it doesn't move. But of course you want to tighten it pretty tight so it actually has the motor catch these and, and move them about. So that's that right there. And I just got all those plastic lids over there. A little case for little more uh, eyepieces. Yeah, we're gonna get a couple of good eyepieces for this. So my honey can see the, uh, so she can see the Saturn, Jupiter, moon's uh, details of it. Anyways, I'm just do, um, just recording this for uh, information and uh, I know some people will say like, oh, didn't you get this edge because you're going to do astrophotography? Well, maybe not. Not anytime soon. She got this because she heard this is HD. It's much more quality and much more sharper. So that's the that's the reason we got this. That's the handle right here to control the movement, really. Hand controller. This thing... We, we were a little shocked to see how uh, flimsy this thing was. This is just like a little flimsy plastic. You can just see. <laughs> it's just a little... I mean, I can bend this with my hand. <laughs> uh, I We were a little concerned, you know, when it goes into this little slot right here. But it's like... This is sturdy, but this is flimsy. I can see us, ah, you know, of course we're not, you'd be very careful, but you can walk by this really fast and snap this thing with your shoulder or arm or something, which wouldn't be good. But, you know, this is pretty straightforward. It's just, you know, that's, that's, that's all that is. Not like the, what do you call it? The like Celestron smaller lineups that have this uh, handset that, that sinks into the handle here and locks into place. But you know, you got this little hook right here, and that little piece gets caught into this. So that's how that's how this goes in here. So you just put it back there and see, it's stuck on there. But look look at look how flimsy that is. <laughs> you bump into this thing, that's uh, it's game over. Should you buy a spare one just in case. But that that that's what I noticed was pretty flimsy. And you got some uh, auto guiders, PC, auxiliary 2, 1 for accessories, a hand controller, obviously, <laughs> where it goes. Yeah. Cool.